Hey guys, Nate Bailey here with Barebow Hunter and the Life Outdoors, and today I'm going to show you how to sharpen your single bevel broadheads. Hey guys, if you follow me for any amount of time, you know that I like my single beveled broadheads, my uh, fixed blade single bevels. But sometimes people have a hard time figuring out how to sharpen them. And um, me personally, and, and I think uh, Ed Ashby's results talk about this, but uh, a really fine edge on the broadhead is uh, one of the things that helps penetration. So with that said, I wanted to go over a few ways of how I do this. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I sharpen my single bevel broadheads. All right, you guys that know me know that I like my single bevel broadheads. And one of the things that I found though, that it's kind of a different thing to sharpen and I, I don't have a ton of time and sharpening things are one of those things that I have to uh, take time to do. You know, you get some of these Ill irregular shapes on the broadheads and how do you sharpen those? Well, I called Adam up at WorkSharp and he said, well, come on down, let's take a look. And I thought maybe we could build a, um, a, a jig that would fit on their regular tool sharpener. And we got down there and, and we started playing with it and I'd ruined a couple broadheads trying to use this thing. And he said, uh, that's really not what we should be doing. So he turned me on to a whole nother way of sharpening broadheads. And that would be just a regular old work sharp uh, outdoor sharpener. And this is the tool sharpening system. Now I have two different systems here. This was the home system. And he said, T this is the way to do it. And we've sat there and played with it for quite a while. And the reason that this one wouldn't work is because it creates a concave edge. And these single bevels have to have a flat edge. So all the single bevels have to have this flat edge. If to sharpen them, we were creating too many concave edges. So I'm going to show you today how we do that with this system. All right. So what we have here is I'm going to start with the the uh, coarse edge diamond. We'll set that guy down. Now, one of the things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your broadhead onto an arrow shaft. That way you have a handle for your broadhead. Now if you take a look at this broadhead, you can see that the edges, I have shot this thing, used it as a field point, I was trying to break it, and um, this is a bone broadhead, and I was just really trying to see how how hard, so I stump shot everything with this head, so I was um, really wondering how hard it was going to be to bring this thing back. So. If I didn't have marks on it already, you can kind of see how dirty the edges are. If I didn't have that on there already, I would take a Sharpie and I would Sharpie this. And then as I'm making my strokes, I could see where in the world um, it's hitting. So let's take a look here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to lay it up against your stone and you can feel that bevel. The single bevel heads, you can feel them real well. And as Adam and I were going, we could turn this head as we're going. And if you have that Sharpie, or in this case, the rust on the edge, you can see where that's hitting on your, on your broadhead. I'll uh, go ahead and get a close-up of this. Okay, so you can see right here, I'm just barely touching the edge, but I have already pulled some of that rust off of there. And that's by following that bevel. And like I said, this rough stone will take off a lot at first. But, um, I'm going to give it a couple more swipes. Now, you don't have to worry too much about... Um, when, when you do this method, you don't have to worry too much about doing both sides evenly because you will do both sides evenly if you keep that edge painted. And once you take that metal off, it will show you how much metal you've taken off. So that'll keep you pretty well balanced. Let me go back down in there. Find that bevel. Do the back end a little bit on the bevel. And just keep it with that bevel. You can feel it rock if you... If you you can really feel it rock on that bevel, but if you hold it 
right on there, there's a big enough bevel. This is not like sharpening a two blade. It's actually easier. And you can see now that I'm actually starting to hit that, hit that edge. And you can see now that it's really, really starting to take off on that edge. It's, it's starting to clean that up pretty good. Now, of course, I'm not going to finish it with this stone. I'll, I'll go to the smaller stone. Let's get some of that tip. On a flat head, like the grizzly stick, it's not, it's not near as hard to... Uh, I could actually sharpen this head with my mechanical system because I could go straight through. But on this guy, I have to have more control because of the rounded head. Um, so if you guys take a look, you can see I'm already touching, I'm already getting, getting there. Now you can go on Worksharp if you need to find one of these stones. And the cool thing, like I said, about these is they're reusable. And see how I'm keeping that bevel? I'm keeping my thumb right on top of that bevel. And that holds that bevel perfectly straight when I'm running my thumb across there. Look at that. See how it's cleaning up that edge? It's already starting to get sharp, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do the back end. I'm starting to touch that bevel. Now, once you get that bevel back, you know, because I got some nicks and stuff into this broadhead, once you give that bevel back, then you can start um, running a little bit tighter angle on there to get, get it sharp and you're going to roll this so what you're doing is you're rolling a burr over on the other side once you get that burr starting to roll over that's when you know to go to a lighter stone so you want to get a, a good bevel on there you notice how I, I'm still a little bit high into this one I'm going to have to come down on it metal off of there and look at, look at how it's polishing that so we have our bevel back, see, and that's a straight bevel all the way down, guys. That, that's not a concave bevel like we made with the other one. I'm going to go ahead and hit the tip a little bit more. There we go. Now, now we have our bevel. You see how it cleaned up? If, if this was Sharpie, that would have all been black, and I cleaned off all the black. All right. Now, once we've done that, we switch to our other... You just take this guy off, and then of course work sharp, and it's work sharp course, and they they tell you exactly what it is. They have several different different uh, types, and then we go to the work sharp, and this is the work sharp fine. Line up those two little pins in there, and then we go to our side that we've been working on, and same bevel. Hold that bevel. Make sure you're right there. You can feel it rocking off the bevel when you're not on it. Look at how well that's starting to clean up right there. So it's starting to burn that edge. Once I start burning that edge, I'll just, I'll just come in lightly because we don't want to create a burr going the other direction. I'll lightly take that off. And right now, that is a, that is a sharp broadhead right now. But I like my broadheads razor sharp. So I'm going to continue to work on this, and I'll come back and show you. All right, so once you've got it with your, with your fine stone, and you've got a, a really mirror finish, and a, a good finish on there, and you got your bevel straightened out, the next thing I like to do is hit it with my chromatic. And there's three different settings on this guy. There's one for a fish hook, and you could use that as also as a coarse side. There's your other course, which has got a bunch of grooves in it, so you have a, a little bit coarser ceramic, and then and then you have your fine side. So I like to start, once I've got it to where it's, it's mirror finish like that, then I'll start honing on. This will make these broadheads. A lot of people say you, you can't hardly get, you can't get single bevel broadhead sharp, but if you have a good steel, and a lot of your broadheads nowadays are made out of some really good steel, really good stainless steel. Uh, um, this method will sharpen any broadhead. Now, if you start feeling like you're rolling it over just a little bit, oh, that sucker's sharp. Then just come back on the back side and take take that roll off, and it, you get just a little bit of that roll off, just to where you're there. And that sucker is scary sharp. That's a scary sharp broadhead. Okay, guys. So. 
I'll uh, start with your coarse stone. Go to your fine. If you want to get really fancy, they make these that turn, and then they have they have all the stones. You just turn it. Um, this one works awesome. Out in the field, I have my field stone, and it it uses the same deal. It just doesn't sit on a bench. And then once you get there, I carry one of these in the field with me as well. Um, once you get there, see the difference between that was where we started. Almost, it's almost safe sharp. And then this one I will not do that to. That is scary sharp. All right, guys. If you like your broadheads as wicked sharp as I do, um, quick clean kills. This is the best way that I've found to sharpen your single bevel broadheads. Um, so if this stuff is helping you, could you do me a favor and smash that subscribe button? Also hit the little bell and you'll know when our rest of our videos come out. The other thing that you can do is you can go over to my Facebook group and my Facebook page and join the group. There's so much good stuff in there. You'll learn so much. I learned so much from the guys in there. Uh, and then on the page, that's where we share all of our videos and, and the updates to uh to barebow hunters and what we do also one more thing we have a podcast and if you haven't heard it yet um it's a it's a really good podcast you'll enjoy it it's barebow hunters podcast getting close man we're into july i'm putting cameras out end of august we're not that far away and we're going to be able to hunt elk so get your broadhead sharp get your stuff tuned let's get out there all right until then shoot straight